What a way to finish this game, to potentially finish this game for the Baltimore Ravens. A fantastic interception from Marcus Peters. Yeah. Honestly, as a Rams fan, I'm just like, what the hell happened to him in LA? Like, he was literally burnt toast. Like, it's for some reason, like, for some reason with the Rams, it always seems like every quarter they try and sign, you know, like, every major free agent quarter that they try and sign, they always somehow, they always somehow don't do really well in with the Rams. I mean, Akeem Tlaib was really good, but... Peters, Marcus Peters, no, it's way he's not very good. Well, Peters was still good. He just wasn't the same player he was in Kansas City. But now in Baltimore, he's just, he's been dominant. But yeah, revenge, how sweet it is for the Baltimore Ravens. They're less than two minutes away from winning this game. Jackson's face when he was that yeah, a massive game changer there with Marcus Peters getting that interception. But yeah, Lamar Jackson about to win his first postseason game ever. Made the playoffs in 2018 and 19, lost both times, never won a single game. Even last season where the Ravens went 14 and 2, they lost to this same the same Titans team. And now, how the how the tables have turned. But yeah, now how the table, boy, have the tables turned now, as Baltimore is just a minute and a half away from most likely winning this game. It's literally like Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson just went freaky Friday with one another from last year's matchup because Lamar Jackson has just been absolutely dominant. Meanwhile, Derrick Henry's been absolutely getting just Derrick Henry's been absolutely getting dominated all day, and it's just pretty crazy to see how the tables have turned all of a sudden. Like, but yeah, no Earl Thomas. That means, but yeah, Ravens with no Earl Thomas. I guess, I guess getting rid of Earl Thomas was was the smart move. But yeah, here we go, thirty yard line. Jackson to Edwards and short of the first down. But yeah. But hey, um, anybody wondering, um, are you probably gonna are you gonna be watching the Bears Saints game that's gonna be um airing that's actually gonna be airing on Nickelodeon, which is I know there's I know the game's airing on CBS as well, but yeah. They're actually airing like a Nickelodeon style broadcast of of the game. And it's quite it's like the concept overall is pretty weird though, but Spot, but yeah, it kind of makes sense. Well, kind of, I mean, Sponge. I mean, a majority of the instrumental music actually used in the early seasons of SpongeBob actually sound like music that you can hear in the NFL. It uh, actually sounds like music that you've heard in probably like NFL films music. And Edwards with the first down, and that will do it. Baltimore will win their first postseason game in five years. Well, actually, what was the last time Baltimore won? I think it was 20, maybe 2013, I think. It wasn't the Super Bowl, I know. But I think their last postseason win came around 2014, probably around 20. This is at least like four or five years ago, possibly, but I don't know. But I did know Baltimore did lose in 2018 and 2019 in the postseason, and they didn't win a single game, but yeah. yeah. Here we go. And that will do it. Baltimore has finally won a postseason game for the first time in, in a few years. But yeah. Lamar Jackson with his first postseason win. All I gotta say is congratulations. Um, Baltimore has actually been a really surprising team in the past few weeks. They've all of a sudden just have been on a hot streak ever since the Cleveland game. 
Where, of course, we all know Lamar Jackson probably took a little stool or something. Probably. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, um... I'm just a Rams fan here just watching other games. I mean, I know we've made it to the second, we made it to the divisional round. But yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video and see you guys soon. And you'll probably see this video. Some, I bet a few fellow Ravens fans will watch this video. But yeah.